Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be repairing the shoulder buttons on this Xbox controller. Uh, this right here, we're not going to do anything with this today, but uh, tomorrow I'm going to be getting the face clicky kit for this controller. So we're going to do a video on that uh, once uh, once that comes in tomorrow. Uh, it's pretty much just a kit that makes uh, the D-pad and the buttons just a little bit more tactile. Uh, but we're going to set that off to the side for now. And we're going to focus on this guy here. So, um, I'm also going to address the elephant in the room on this video. This video is, uh, off the cuff. It's, uh, I haven't scripted anything. Um, I figured we're just going to take this apart and repair the shoulder button. And I'll tell you guys what's been going on with me. Um, now, right off the bat, I don't live in the same place as I did when I made the Neo Geo controller video, which, uh, I'm so grateful to this day that it's still getting viewership and that uh, you guys are still leaving me some really, really nice messages on that video. It really does mean a lot. Here's the new uh, shoulder button assembly for this controller. Um, anyway, so uh, I don't want to get super deep into it, but uh, let me see here. Let me grab the tar pick. Uh, but pretty much so, I've been pretty busy with my life. I haven't really like... Uh, well, it's not that I haven't had time to make more videos and do streams, because uh, I, I I did do a stream recently on Twitch, uh, finally, anyways. Um, hang on, I might need to... Uh, yeah, and also expect some ju jump cuts here and there. Uh, yeah, jump cut. Okay, so I just finished uh, ripping these things out from the sides here. Uh, these little grips, you have to pretty much uh, pry them out with the with the guitar pick and then you have to rip the fuckers out uh they're a little bit of a pain but uh you get it eventually uh and i mean this video is not going to be like a guide or anything on how to open any controller in particular there's plenty of channels out there for that already i'm just using this as a uh j just as a way to just uh talk about what's been going on updates all that stuff for you guys uh let me go ahead and grab the tweezers here Anyways, though, uh, so the main thing that I wanted to talk about is that uh, I had a, uh, I had some bad things happen in my life uh, at the start of this year that uh, kind of killed my momentum. Um, like, because uh, I mean, you know, any small channel gets uh, the kind of viewers that I got on the Neo Geo video. I mean, I really did want to just keep going right then and there. And I did... Um, at a lot of my next video filmed and I ended up losing a lot of that footage uh, during the move unfortunately um, I might still be able to recover it but at this point I might just uh, start from scratch on that video it's uh it was gonna be a scene deck video with uh yeah pretty much so the next video was gonna be a steam deck video um, and it's a kind of steam deck video I don't think a whole lot of people are doing here on YouTube so I don't want to spoil it just yet for you guys uh, but we are working on that uh, let me grab the Torx uh, screwdriver set. Oh, where'd I put that? Hold on a second. Hello, this is Editor Akira from the future. I'm just jumping in here to let you guys know that originally I had recorded two segments on this part of the video, and I kind of ended up losing my spot in the editor. <laughs> it's a bit of a novice mistake on my part, but I just want you guys to be aware of that because the jump cut that's coming up is going to be just a little bit jarring. All right, back to the video. But I went ahead and uh, peeled back the sticker here with the tweezers so you've got five screws here uh this isn't going to be like a a guide on how to open this controller or anything like i said it's just a just a off the cuff video i figured i'd make uh, while i'm repairing the shoulder button but um i don't want to get super into it or anything because uh it was uh it was some pretty bad shit that happened to me but um that's that's exactly why i had stopped uploading so suddenly after the neo geo controller video um it really it really does kill me because uh that video did really really well like holy shit um but uh no i'm back now though um we're gonna upload some more now and uh we're gonna press onward with the channel the steam deck video i was working on i lost the footage of that during the move uh unfortunately so i am probably gonna have to refilm that if i don't find that footage somewhere on my drive this uh this screw got stuck somewhere in there you can see there we go let me just set that off to the side if i can stop dropping them last uh last screw here 
but yeah that that is the entire reason why uploads completely halted completely out of nowhere on this channel and i do apologize to you guys for that but we're back now we're gonna do some more pretty soon uh, like i said um the face clicky kit for the dual shock 5 is coming in tomorrow and i am excited to work on that with you guys let me see if i can get these out with just my hands there we go set that off to the side okay so now i'm kind of remembering on the fly here because uh we pretty much need to get this uh shoulder button assembly out i'm just trying to remember where to go from here let me take the back off real quick let me see here yeah so you can kind of feel like the shoulder go upward a little i'm just trying to remember if we have to do anything special because i remember you have to like kind of peel these up there's like these little braces right here hmm might need to do another jump cut just uh google that real quick Okay, so I'm back from looking it up, and uh, yeah, so pretty much we just have to pry these uh, little brackets out. Uh, pretty much like I was uh, remembering. I just really wanted to double make sure before I actually proceeded. So we're just gonna get that up. Uh, we might have to use a little bit more force here. Ah, there we go. Yeah, so you basically just have to keep lifting up until... You see the thing move i don't know if that picked up super well on camera i apologize if it didn't um this bastard is already out of focus there we go um but let's go ahead and proceed on here so now we just have to release uh, a small little bracket i believe it's let me make sure it's the pointy tip uh let's see okay i think it's no? Uh, let me see. I know there's another small little bracket in here. It's just hard to see uh, just with the lighting that I currently have in this room, which I am still working on upgrading. Uh, let me see. Okay, is there one on this side? Maybe. It'd be easier if I release this side. Hmm. Uh, another jump cut. Okay, I got it. Sorry about that. No, it's not as exciting. It's, uh, it was this little, uh, this thing on the far, far left side. That's the thing you need to pry off. Uh, so, okay. So that's the old shoulder buttons. Uh, and real quick, I kind of just want to see if there was anything in particular wrong with this set. I don't think so. Oh, I think I see that. Yeah, so the bend on this part right here looks like it was it is just slightly slanted. I don't think that's gonna pick up super well though. But just to my naked eye, that's what it looked like. Let me go ahead and get the the new shoulder button out. All right, I already had it hiding just underneath it. So okay, let's go ahead and get this on. perfect yeah all right and that's clicking much much better now okay so now let's get the sync button assembly back on i think i remember this actually being harder than it looked uh because you basically have to snap this fucker on oh i think i got it yep okay Okay, I felt the triggers fling up, but uh, I, I thought I've messed something up right there, but now nah, we're good. Um, yeah, so at this point, uh, we can pretty much reassemble the controller now. Which, uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, you just want to make sure that this thing goes on vertically. And also if I can stop dropping parts, that would be great. <laughs> Alright, so now let's get the back. Back on the shell. I don't think that went in exactly right. 
Uh, so like these little like prongs right here, uh, and there's this little like cutout here. You basically want to try to like line those things up, just like that. Um, man, that is super dark. I really gotta upgrade the lighting in this room. I am sorry about that, guys. But okay, that's on right. So now let's just get the face back on. I I want to do a shell swap on this pretty soon. There, I mean you can already tell like swapping the entire shell out on this thing is super easy. Uh, it's another thing if you want to swap out like the buttons and the uh, the triggers themselves. Uh, that's that's another thing. Um, I don't personally think it's that hard, but I could make a video on that for you guys if you really want. But again, there's already a million other tutorials out there. Um, I really don't think I can add much to that conversation. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, so that was uh, repairing the shoulder buttons. So I'm just going to get this guy back together now. And uh, other than that, I just hope that you guys are excited as much as I am about my upcoming videos. Uh, dry as my voice might sound right now, I just, uh, uh, actually, uh, as making this video, I woke up like an hour ago. <laughs> uh, so I'm still a little bit, like, um, I'm still kind of getting started with my actual day here. But, uh, yeah, so tomorrow's video, probably anyways, uh, as long as nothing goes wrong with my Amazon delivery on the face clicky kit. Uh, we'll be making that video tomorrow for you guys. Is that going in right? Hold on. Yeah, there we go. Oh. Is it like too long or something? I'm pretty sure all these screws are the same size, but let me just try a different one real quick. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, I'm not, uh, fancy, like, uh, I'm not fancy at this stuff yet anyways, like, my friend, uh, my friend J. John, he's a legend. That guy puts HDMI ports on Dreamcasts. That guy's, that guy's a legend. Shoutouts, shoutouts to my friend J. John. Really, really awesome friend of the channel. And also shoutouts to Spawn Wave and, and, uh, Tronics Fix. Uh, those two guys in particular also uh, inspired me to start opening my controllers and do cool stuff like this. Uh, let's see. Let me just make sure everything feels right. Let me get the sticks back on. If you guys uh, are interested in potentially putting elite sticks on your controller like I have here, uh, I can leave a link in the description for you guys if you if you want if you want to buy those on eBay. Uh, but yeah, everything's feeling good. Let's go ahead and just. Uh, do the rest just close it up just like that that was my battery cover all right and boom everything feels fine good stuff all right and uh that's gonna do it for this video uh like comment subscribe all that good stuff and i'll see you guys tomorrow and everybody have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day and take care